I'm Dr. Arthur Eisencraft. I'm a professor of physics and a professor of science education at the University of Massachusetts in Boston, United States. So STEM education is the acronym for science, technology, engineering, and math. We've always taught science and math in every grade um, from the students when they're young till uh, they graduate. What we're now doing is including not only the science and technology, the science and mathematics, but we're including the technology and engineering as well. It turns out, as we all know, that engineering is a huge career opportunity for students, and too many students don't know what engineers do. So by having engineering in the schools, we can see the application of the math and the science and careers, and so students become more aware and more engaged in what they'll be learning. So we're very excited that in Thailand we're going to be using active physics, which has been used in the United States for students in the vocational schools. The way we teach active physics is through project-based learning. So the students will have a challenge. How do you design and build an improved safety device for a car? A return on your investment 50 years away. And in order to do that, they have to learn some physics. You have to understand physics if you want to design an improved safety device for a car. So you don't learn the physics just because it's on a state exam, but you learn the physics to apply the physics as an engineer would do. This curriculum is published in the United States by It's About Time. It's About Time is a company that uses only materials which have been created by the National Science Foundation and vetted and tested with thousands of students to make sure that it bridges the research we know about how people learn and the practice that should be going on in schools. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it works with Thai students and we're hoping it's going to work just as well or better than it does with American students.